No, no, good evening. Good evening. I'm told that I have to also speak on the issue of Family Island. I have to find that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just correcting that. I am from one of the Family Islands, and just to be exact. So, excuse me here. So, on Family Island, is our commitment to the organization, the coaches, administrators, the stakeholders, council members, and all. On the Family Island, Family Island has, has always been instrumental in producing quality athletes and being one of them, an Olympian, a world champion, I can speak to that, in producing quality athletes in the field of athletics. Unfortunately, the support in Family Island programs has not increased to a level that permits a constant stream of athletes being recognized in the junior and senior programs. It is most appropriate considering our motto that more focus should be given to the islands where there exists an abundance of talented athletes that require assistance from the B3As. And in this view, we intend to execute the following activities. We will increase the support of B3As to the family islands and partner with the Bahamas Government and, and Sports Authority to encourage the strategic growth, management, and maintenance of facility in the islands. We will encourage the development of growth of individual family islands associations, athletes, and coaches. We will have major island track and field associations, example, the Grand Bahama 3As host quarterly b 3 age meetings and island-wide fund raises, part proceeds going to the local association. This will empower the local island associations and encourage local corporate and private citizens to partner with the b 3 age We will allow advanced voting in the various family islands to avoid family islands, association and coaches, etc., from incurring the expense of having to travel to Nassau to participate in and vote at the annual general meeting. We will implement teleconferences to allow inter-island and international participation during meetings. In other words, we intend to uh, introduce more technology into our plans in going forward. So that's it for Family Island. So now I'll speak to you on yes, revenue. So in terms of revenue generation, when we sat down as a group, in several of our meetings we realized that the constant stream of uh, income is certainly insufficient for us to carry out our activities when you would have voted for us to become the next, you know, uh, governing body in the association. So we decided to come up with some new revenue stream measures to implement in ensuring that our plans are executed effectively. So revenue generators. As in any organization whose objectives are to implement programs aimed at achieving results that are aligned with its mission statement, we are aware that additional avenues must be explored to enhance revenues so as to effectively attain the B3A's goals. In addition to the valuable support from government, corporate Bahamas, and other stakeholders, we intend to undertake the following activities to support our programs. Establish a B3A thrift shop, sports shop, sales of vitamins, training gears, sports drinks, performance gears, Etc. And I think Philippa and Aaron both may have mentioned that earlier in terms of uh, what, the shop or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Establish a proper weight training, weight, nutrition, athletes drink bar and deli kitchen and therapy room. B3A's auction and raffle, 
raffle gears and keepsakes, items used by the past, by past and present athletes. Future is fashion line initiatives, partner with garment and equipment companies. Vitrier's calendar highlighting our athletes. Vitrier's fashion show highlighting sports apparel, competition gears, and formal wear. Fashion show participants, athletes, coaches, parents, administrators, administration, and sponsors. Date with a star auction, i.e. lunch or dinner with an athlete. I'm sure Pauline wouldn't disagree with that. And also, I think at least I think at least it's somewhere here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're gonna be counting on you for that. <laughs> Other ideas are welcome. I'm sure when we get in, you know, we sit down with the BTA's uh, committee members, and you know, here our ideas and moving forward, and and how we can enhance or augment, you know, existing revenue streams. Now, if I should say. When we mention the sale of vitamins and, and other food products, I hope I don't get in trouble for this, but you notice that I didn't mention anything about pizzas. I don't think athletes should be eating pizzas during the uh, training. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> uh, one, one key program that we thought would be extremely useful, not just only for our athletes, but also for coaches, uh, council members, or anyone who would have played a strategic role in advancing the goals of the association. And uh, we sat down with uh, a gentleman from, I don't think you have a gem. I'm, I'm on the, uh, yeah, the endowment facility. We spoke as a team, we spoke with a gentleman from one of the local financial, financial institutions here, senior, senior staff, and we presented our idea to him as to what kind of product that we'd want to share with, with the organization. And when we presented our idea to him, he came back with you know, a concept as to where we should go and what we should present to the body as a whole when we would have you know, become the governing body or of the B3As. And again, I want to stress it, it's just a concept because we haven't gone into any details yet with it. We want to discuss it further with you so you can have your input into it. And it's basically a, 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 an endowment fund or a trust facility. And the basic premise underlying the facility is the creation of a financial product, example, again, as I said earlier, a trust fund in which athletes, coaches, trainers, trainers corporate entities, governments, or persons involved in executing B3A's activity, be it past or present, can contribute to. The facility will, among other things, provide all potential stakeholders with an opportunity to invest in a product associated with an international recognized sports in the Bahamas. It will provide future income in the form of dividends, again for the athletes, and I think I mentioned earlier, clawback into uh, special funds. You know, the profit can go to as uh, dividends to the athletes, and some goes back into the into the B3As to assist with, with moving uh, some of the activities forward. Ensure that contributions are protected from misappropriation. Ensure that professional investment team is managing resources. And initially, we intend to raise $250,000. This is what the gentleman from the, uh, from the bank told us, that in order to, to start this facility, we need about $250,000. I don't think that's a lot of money. I think we can raise that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So further, like I said, further discussion on this subject is expected to unfold when the administration assumed office. So uh, one of our main objectives is, is to be transparent with you, you know. Nothing will be done, you know, under the table. Everything will be brought to light and to get your views and guidance as to how we should go with moving forward some of the uh, revenue streams and, of course, the, the, the trust fund. So that is me.
I thank you very much for being so attentive.